Welcome everyone to the San Diego Chargers franchise season two off season. My name is Mr. Hurricane and welcome to what could be the most interesting off season ever on my channel. Been doing these franchise series now for over five years, but this could be the most interesting off season because of our quarterback situation. Philip Rivers may retire and he may retire in the first five minutes of this stream. I just dropped frames. That kind of got me nervous here a little bit. Let me uh, make sure we're still streaming okay here on Twitch. But this offseason is going to be very interesting if Philip Rivers retires because we don't have his successor in place. We do not have a bunch of quarterbacks in this draft that you can plug in. There's one. One guy. One guy, and he's going to probably go a lot earlier than we pick. So, that is the big question. Does Philip Rivers stay or does Philip Rivers retire? He is 36 years old. He spent his entire career in San Diego because Eli Manning didn't want to. He's been a great quarterback, has everything you look for in a Hall of Fame resume except for the Lombardi trophies. Does he continue his quest for the Super Bowl in San Diego or does he hang it up and just go home? Phillip Rivers, starting quarterback. We'll see if that is still the case here very soon. I'm not really sure what to expect. I mean, his ratings did go down after Season 1 to Season 2. So if he stays, I expect ratings to go down even further, although they're still in a good spot. But the key is, is Rivers going to stay a San Diego Charger? So we finished 13-3 and this year. It was a good season. I'm not going to recap a whole lot. If you want to see a recap of this season, it is on my channel. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, you can go and watch the recap first and also watch the scouting video first if you like. But it's time for us to begin the offseason. It's time for us to start looking at how we can improve this roster. And actually, I'm going to start off here by increasing... I'm going to spend some of this XP. I meant to do this before the stream and then I ran out of time. So, I like to increase the... or spend the XP now before we get to contract time so let me just like I'm not going to worry about Hunter Henry and Melvin Ingram right now they're under contract but I am going to at least increase Jeremiah Tachu this is how I keep things fair I like to upgrade their ratings so that I think it better reflects what they want with our contract demands develop a spin move and rushing the passer heck yeah let's get him another move he has the swim the spin the bull rush the high motor Let's go high motor. Atachu getting a lot better here. And uh, power move, finesse move. Why don't we increase finesse, increase power, and I can't increase awareness. So we'll do that for now. I think that was the only one I wanted to make sure I got around to. Here are the rest of the points available. We have a lot of XP to spend here soon, so that's very good for us. Look at that, 7K for Caesar Butler. I can boost his coverage a good bit, too. Definitely going to do that. But that was the main upgrade I wanted to do here. But I think it's time for us to get to the offseason. Welcome, everybody, over 1,100 watching here on Twitch as we continue. And we're about to find out who wins the Super Bowl and does Phillip Rivers retire. We have one of the most dramatic moments of the offseason in the first few minutes. So here we go. XP sliders. I do not use XP sliders. I just haven't looked into them enough. If someone could like write up why they use them, what they do, with a good overview of the, the effects, that would be wonderful. All right. We still have a head coach now in Mike McCoy. As his contract had expired and we were able to keep him around. So head coach remains the same after a 13-3 and season. Okay. Let's go check out the retirements. Transaction log. Chargers. And. Anything? That was his number being edited, by the way, to 55, I believe. I don't think anybody retired. So, Phillip Rivers stays. As does everybody else. All the offensive linemen. Brandon Meebane. We'll see what regression looks like, however. 
So Philip Rivers, still a San Diego Charger. Still. But who has retired? That is the question now before we get to re-signings. Doug Free, Jameel McLean, Andy Lee, Chris Canty. I wish I could sort this by overall. Cameron Wake retires. Jonathan Joseph, Joe Berger, Haloti Nada, Elvis Dumerville, Julius Peppers, Joe Staley. Could field one heck of a team here in like 2011. Not looking like there were a whole lot of um, retirements. But we have some cap casualties. Jeremy Curley. Who cut a franchise left tackle? Anybody? We could use one of those. Oh, Charles Johnson gets cut. Brandon Flowers. James Laurinaitis. Anybody worth scooping up here? I mean, most of these players are cut for a, a good reason. Christian Hackenberg gets cut. There's our quarterback of the future. We could groom him. So, oh, Falcons released Terrell Pryor after a thousand yard season. My goodness. But keep in mind, this is not the Terrell Pryor in real life. This is Terrell Pryor that did not progress as much as him and is 29 years old at this point. And we already have good receivers. Roberto Aguayo gets released. All right, I want to get on to our stuff here. A lot of cap casualties, though. We got the news. And who won the Super Bowl, by the way? Who are the champs going into year two? Skip Bayless. Can you tell us who won the Super Bowl, please? I don't know who did it. Super Bowl MVP. Who is the MVP? Just tell me either who won or who's the MVP. I can't tell what happened. It was Jaguars and Cowboys. And who won? Aren't there any Super Bowl stories? We got uh, draft stories now. I've seen all of these. DJ McCullum. I believe I scouted him. If I go to all stories, do you tell me who won the Super Bowl? I think the Cowboys won. Look at Matt Miller's tweet on there. Oh, well, I think it was Dallas. Alrighty. So the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, it appears. Let me just confirm it here. I like to check out the uh, box score. Could have done this from the beginning, but I did not. Cowboys and Jaguars. 31-17. Dallas wins with 284 passing yards. Dak Prescott, two touchdowns. And so did their backup, two touchdowns. Ezekiel Elliott, 99 yards. Two touchdowns for Cole Beasley. Jason Witten. I wonder, did he retire after a Super Bowl? Like, that'd be a guaranteed retirement right there. Alrighty, guys. It is time for us to start looking at re-signing. And by the way, next year we have a brand new stadium. Forgot about that, but just remembered. Cannot wait. Alrighty, so Jeremiah Atachu. This is the first step here. Our defense. Uh, outside linebacker 25 years old he's had double digit sack seasons and he's looking for a lot of money and he is deserving of a lot of money he has 89 block shedding 89 finesse moves let's see uh can i see his stats from here that'd be a nice thing but i don't think i can from this screen anyway but I do think that we're going to have to franchise tag him because I don't see us having the money to pay big money to Ingram, then pay big money to him, and still keep other parts of the team stable. We have a high-paid secondary player, a high-paid pass rusher already. You kind of got to pick and choose here. It's hard to pay a lot at one position. So it could be a tag. How about Josh Lambeau here? want to keep our kicker around but he wants over four million dollars a year this would be another option for the franchise tag but if it goes to a touch you we have to negotiate dj fluker just did not do well enough here in san diego we will withdraw any offer matt slauson whose ratings have probably gone down a little bit then there's chris hairston whose ratings are pretty low He's 29. We'll withdraw any offer here. Let's check out Slauson. What does he actually want? 
man, what's four mil a year? I'll give you a one year contract with little guaranteed. 3.31 million. He's going to test. Okay. That's no problem there. I'll try getting him back later. I'll type, write his name down. Matt Slauson. Let Lambeau go to free agency and pick him up cheaper. I think I should do that. I'll let him test. I don't want to pay $4 million a year for a kicker. All right. Christopher Costin, our rookie safety. As I do want to keep him around. I'll give him a three-year. I actually like to give him a, probably a four-year contract. And he wants less than like a million a year. So we could actually be quite kind to him. Let's go. You know, let's go three years. 8.7. Eh, we'll go eight. Around eight. Keep him around for three years. There we go. Christopher Costin sticks around. Not too expensive. How about Carl Klug? He was solid last year, but he's not a player I want to give a big contract to. I want to give him a similar deal to what he had last year. 2.78 one year. And he'll accept that. I'm surprised. That was a low ball. Anthony Fasano. I think I'll withdraw any offer and try finding a blocking tight end again. Ryan Wendell will withdraw here. Look for an upgrade. He was starting for us last year. Ryan Carruthers. Still see some potential here. But I think I'll let him walk because we do have Aaron Enzer at backup nose. Darius Gums. I definitely want him to stick around. He was solid last year for us. Three-year contract. And he will stick around. How about Zach Bogan, our returner? Trying to make these all three-year deals, and that is good. Derek Anelli also want to keep him around to continue developing, and he wants a fairly big contract. Let's see, what do I want to offer you? Over $3 million a year? He didn't prove that much. And, oh, he's going to stick around regardless. Okay. Jonathan Massaqua will let him... Well, I'll withdraw any offer there. Harmon Whitaker. Okay, now this is one where I don't want to screw around. Let's give him... I'll give him... Uh, yeah, three a year is fair. More than fair, I think. There we go. Harmon Whitaker sticks around. A lot of undrafteds having to go through here. Aaron Enzer. Got to make sure he sticks around. I think he could be the nose tackle of the future potentially. Would have to develop quite a bit. I'm going to go a little bit cheaper here. And he's going to stick around. Torek Williams. We're going to withdraw offer. Karan Reed, I think uh, 68, 26 years old. We'll withdraw for now. Maybe come back to him later. Then Tyrell Williams. We'll come back to him later as well. He didn't play much for us this year, and we're pretty deep at receiver at the moment. So that leaves us with only a few left to consider. I know I have to watch my cap room here. You guys want to see how much cap we have. Going to salaries. Cap room. 27.8 million. So yes. And we might have to think about if we want to cut some players now. Some big contracts that could be weighing us down here. And I know Orlando Franklin's is one. Look at that cap number. That was a $40.5 million contract. If we cut Orlando Franklin, I guess it'll free. It's worth it, I guess. He's not doing anything playing for us, so that gives us a little more cap space. Um, we just lost Ryan Wendell. Yeah, 
They just haven't been officially released yet. What else here? Middle linebacker. Perryman's going to enter, I think, his contract year, I believe. Leonard Howell. Casey Hayward's pretty cheap on here. I forgot. They got him for a bargain. Three years, 14 mil. In real life, he should be holding out. Safety. We don't spend a lot of money here. Our biggest contracts right now are Philip Rivers, Corey Legit, Keenan Allen, Jason Verrett, Melvin Ingram, King Dunlap, Joey Bosa. I want to see Legit's uh, cap penalty, though. He's a good player, but he's being paid a lot. And it wouldn't help us at all. All right, so let's go back to the negotiations. Two players left. And a low ball Lambo before moving on to Itachu. Let's see. Three-year contract, and he's going to test. No surprise there. And now Jeremiah Atachu. I think the thing that makes the most sense here is just to give him the franchise tag. We have 20.4 in cap room. So, uh, doing the franchise tag wouldn't really give us a ton of room to work with. Cut Dunlap. Oh, King Dunlap. I forgot about his deal. Yeah, we definitely need to do a new left tackle this year. So I'll, I'll cut King Dunlap as long as there isn't a huge penalty. Should give us some extra room. Oh, yeah. A lot more savings here than a penalty. King Dunlap has been cut. As we try to rework this offensive line for Season 3. That offers a little bit of flexibility. So we can spend in free agency if the opportunity arises. We have to offer him something before we can tag, right. And I'm unfortunately going to have to insult him. Five years, 30 million. If he accepted this, I'd be thrilled. And he's going to test. No surprise. So we hit the franchise tag at 10.8 million. Let's go for it. Jeremiah Tachu has been franchise tagged, and here are the rest of the results. All right, so it's time for us to advance with our off season. Let me just save this quick. Never know if it's going to freeze. Don't want to take any risks there. He's worth a lot. Alrighty, so we're moving on to free agency. Okay. Who is available and has anybody else retired? What could happen, though, is that Rivers retires next year and then we give Itachu a deal because we wouldn't have a $20 million quarterback unless uh, we did draft one or assign one. All right, nothing more to show here, it looks like. Okay. Let's go sign some free agents. We have $21 million to work with. Oh, DeAndre Hopkins, Anthony Barr, Drew Brees, Andrew Whitworth. We have some really good free agents this year. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got to see if we can open up some more money. For flexibility. What a class of free agents. Unbelievable. This is amazing. Alright. Who gives us the most savings? Me Bane. Did he regress? I see his progression history here. Minus two. 
You know, if we're going to keep Brandon Meebane, I think I want him at a cheaper price. So we'll cut Brandon Meebane. A little bit extra money there. And there's not a whole lot for us to gain going down. Well, Andre Ellington's already 29. He must have been a 24-year-old rookie. That is odd. All right. So I think we have to go in now with whatever we have left. I think it'll be about 22, 23 mil. And here are all the comments for Derek Carr. The Cleveland Browns and Houston Texans are in the lead for Derek Carr. Looking for four years, 65 million. And I doubt that would do it. If I make this offer here, it would be 82 points. But I don't actually want to make that offer. Phillip Rivers is still our quarterback right now. And I, I don't want to pay Derek Carr. I don't want to pay Derek Carr. I would like to find a quarterback sometime this offseason. There's Jimmy Garoppolo. If we wanted the backup, that could potentially start one day. What did Jimmy's ratings look like for the future? Huh. It might not be a bad idea to try investing in Jimmy Garoppolo here. If we make the baseline offer, it gives us 82 points, and we're just below the Cardinals. So let's try edging him out with the signing bonus. There we go, 84 points. So yeah, I don't want to go for Derek Carr because it's going to be so expensive. We still have Phillip Rivers. And I don't want to pay that much for a quarterback because it would allow us to keep the rest of our team together if we could have someone younger. And I think that he, his price might even go up after this. Alrighty, so we have an offer out for Garoppolo. DeAndre Hopkins could be headed elsewhere. Looks like he's not going to be a Texan. We're not in the market for a wide receiver. Wow, Jason Witten is not retiring. What are Troy Nicholas's ratings looking like? Eh, not a great run blocker. How about Cameron Brait? 73. There's Fasano if he wanted to go back to that direction. Let's go back to the top free agents here. And, of course, we have to talk about the offensive line and getting those those upgrades. And the best one there is Andrew Whitworth, who does not have an offer. And if it was just for a year, we would have to be thrilled to have him around. It's showing cap room at 10.2. Is that if we were to offer or if we did offer this? Okay, that's if we did offer this. I think it makes a lot of sense to offer. Let me just... I want to see what our offensive line looks like right now. So it's like, how many tackles and guards do we need? Empty. Okay, so we need uh, both guards and a left tackle. And I may consider putting Corey Legion on the trade block just to see what we could get because his salary is quite big. And I'm not sure it matches his con contributions on the field. We have Joey Bosa, so we still have a great defensive end. We'll see if we get any interest there in Legit. Would be nice to take some of that money off our hands. So are there any young left tackles? Oh. Not many options here. If you want one, you go for Andrew Whitworth for one year. Not seven. So I'm going to lowball him here because nobody is in on this offer. Try to save some cap. Whoops, I went in the wrong direction, I think. There we go. 
Let's see, Andrew, if I offer you $6 million this year, do you want to come compete for a Super Bowl? 37 points. Not very competitive. All right, guards. There's Slauson, Ted Larson. John Urschel has some interest. How about right guard? DJ Fluker is the top rated, and he might get decently paid. How about Bowanko? Run block, pass block, not bad. Ah, uh, these are not ideal. These are not ideal fixes. All right, what else is there? Defensive end, Vinny Curry. Power moves and finesse moves aren't bad. What is the market? Ah, oh, the market's strong. Don't want to pay that much for backup pass rusher. Not that he wouldn't be worth it. I just don't want to spend the money that way. How about Rashid Hegman here? Not working out with uh, Atlanta. But I'd have some interest here. 28 years old, though. It's going to be hard for him to improve as a player. In that case, I would not be willing to pay him very much. Two and a half years, about what I'd want to give. Linebacker Anthony Barr, he's about to break the bank somewhere, and I'm not going to be trying to contribute. Alec Ogletree is a free agent. There's Zach Brown. 28 years old, fast. Brian Cushing. Not looking like the player he once was, that's for sure. Thomas Davis, Trent Murphy. Kevin Pierre-Lewis. cornerback there isn't a lot to look at at safety where we could maybe have some interest there just isn't an upgrade kicker Josh Lambeau I'm gonna make him an offer three years about 8.3 right now 46 point offer let me see my negotiations so far Whitworth, Lambeau, Hegman, Garoppolo. No, D. Ford wasn't a gopher. He was just in my uh, my last franchise, and he actually was a pretty good pickup for us in that last season. Tavon Wilson, good depth. I'm going to take a look, but I like this safety class, so I don't have to be crazy here. Yeah, he wouldn't be bad depth. One year deal. 900k. You know, I'll take depth. Ooh, Jarek McKinnon is available. Look at the speed, acceleration, carrying. I like McKinnon. But I think we're pretty good at running back for the moment. Unless we could get a... Uh, Blue chip caliber. So back to my negotiations. Still have not offered to a guard. I do need to see what's out there. We're starting to get tight on the cap. But these aren't the most promising options I've seen. Luke Bowanko. I mean, at least he has some run blocking abilities. If I made him a one-year offer on the cheap. I'm talking cheap. Look at my cap room. That's why I'm trying to look at maybe trading uh, Corey Legit. Hopkins, because why not? Yeah, that's not going to work. All right, we're going to sim ahead a week, and we're going to see what happens here. Any new San Diego Chargers for Season 3? First chance to get some new talent. Alrighty, Josh Lambeau sticks around, as does Luke Bowanko and Jimmy Garoppolo. 
So I've already talked about Gordon Urban, just not an accurate of enough quarterback. I have picked up Jimmy Garoppolo here to be our backup and maybe even one day a potential starter. We can do some scouting here during this stage, but we have some new San Diego Chargers. Can we check out the uh, trade block, though? Who could use a defensive end and plays 3-4? I need to do probably a manual trade. I haven't made many big trades on this channel, honestly. It's not something I typically do. Saints could have a lot of interest, and this would definitely be something that would help them a lot. What do the Saints have to offer? Teron Armstead. Let's make it happen. Man, what if I threw in a pick, though, and tried to get Teron Armstead? That's just, he's already been paid so much. I'm not sure we could even afford it. You have any good guards? Ah, oh, you're hurting for guards, too. Oh, I'm not going to be trying to get offensive linemen from the Seahawks now. I will lose a little bit of cap if we trade. It would help down the line. Maybe this isn't the right year. Must be pretty early in his deal yet. Let me check it out. He's 28 years old. And his contract looks like this. He has three more years on it. And that 2020 number is not very nice. All right, let's go. Uh, let's do some scouting now and see what we can do. Trade Travis Benjamin. I've, I've honestly considered it. Oh, we got combine grades now, so we can really have some fun checking this stuff out. Cole Hartman here, top quarterback in the draft. I've expressed a lot of interest. But I just don't see a chance for us to do it without really sacrificing a lot of picks to do that. How about running back? Shaheen Lofton here. Ran a 4-5-3, so he's not a burner, but he has excellent agility and strength. Pretty impressive still. I'm assuming he'll have high 80 speed and then just be a workhorse back. Definitely something to think about there. Tyrus Sinclair, 4-4-3. No standouts. Probably fits as a second rounder. Let's go to my watch list. Andre Clay. 11th with 31 reps here. B pass block. 39 here. That is first with B pass block and B run block. I think that, uh, how do you pronounce that? Better figure it out because we may be trying to select him, but he's an early first rounder. That's going to be tough. How about a Sponda here? 32 reps. Spencer Mackey. Ooh. He got second in strength, or the bench press. C plus pass. Does he have early first round prospect? I don't think so. How about Deshaun Birch here? Eh, ah, ran the fastest 40. 4 3 1. Receiver. Let me finish off Martz here. 4-5-3. Dial 4-4-1. Artist Chamblin, 4-4-6. Terrence Watt, 4-4-7. So some speed at receiver for sure. Here is Kirby Tom Zach, as he can't catch the football well enough and only runs a 4-8. I'm not even interested anymore. Alright, left tackles. We have options. Not all great options, but they have we have options. Go to run blocker here, Dakota Hardman, 6'7", 322. Not many great guards, but Philip Wolf is among the best. 37 reps here. Just have to get that pass blocking up a little bit. 
I definitely want to come away with one of these good offensive linemen. So we're talking. There is Adrian. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to call him Adrian. There's Adrian. Andre Clay. Esponda here. Then at left guard, Philip Wolf. At right guard, Spencer Mackey. Good combine, but skill's not that great. How about Darby on McCollum here? Yeah, that's definitely a good prospect. Second rounder. And on the right side here, Amari Patterson, at least, is a pass blocking specialist. Run blocking, not very good. I like Martz here quite a bit. Already an elite run blocker and pass blocking is already a C plus. Maybe some value here with Jamichael Young. Alright, what else can we find on here? JT Gary, excellent agility. Block shedding is awesome. And he's 6'6", 300. At right end, Margarito Person. Good speed, and he's got good finesse moves, so that's interesting. If we want a one-trick pony pass rusher off the bench, I'm always in the market for that. Seventh-round prospect here, TJ O'Neal. Nothing good in the combine. That's a really disappointing combine. How about Brandon Yancey here? Ooh, four, eight, seven. But he can rush the passer. Middle linebackers, don't see us coming away with one of these, but who knows? Good agility here. Gabriel McAllister. Trey McMillan from Oregon. Wow, he had a disappointing combine. Come on, man. Where's the athleticism and the speed and the strength? That is disappointing. Although bench press wasn't terrible. Call it Antoine Irving. Ran a 4-4-8 at linebacker. That's what I'm talking about. Let him return kicks. Play some running back. Calvin Tolbert here at corner. We're definitely not going to be in the market, though. And how about the safeties, where we are in the market? Bram Kendall, strong, fast, with some coverage ability. And at strong safety, Brian Macklin, fast, with good coverage and hit power. Pedro Triplett. We have a chance to get a safety. A really good one. Javante Boykin. Okay, he graded out okay at the combine. I was hoping he'd tear it up because he's 6'4". But um, Pedro Triplett is 6'3". And Sparks. Decent combine. Mike Quick. Very strong. Worried about his coverage though. Okay, so let's find some unscouted players. Try to find some high combine grades, maybe. Left end, how about J.W. Rude here? With a great bench press and vertical leap. Third round prospect, actually a second round prospect. How about... Looking for sevens if I can find them. Where are the good combine grades at? Roosevelt McAfee. Late first round prospect. Can he rush? Block shedding. Can't really tell. Anybody young at corner? Kendall Jeffers. Very fast and agile. Six foot. Oh, come on. C plus off the bat. How about Claudison McMahon? Nope. Tyrus Linder. Hey. Uh. Kenyon Boston. Like the agility there. Nope. All right, so those corners, very disappointing. Was there anybody on my watch list that I did not finish scouting? And actually, I wanted to find speed receiver. And I don't have a lot of points, but I will spend my future points on some of them. 
looking for a speed receiver if we don't keep uh, Travis Benjamin on the team just because he's also expensive. Looking for some wheels here. Preferably later in the draft. Alright, we'll go here. B minus catching. Cedric Moten from Auburn, 4 4. Put him on the watch list. That's it for this spot here. And now we're going to go look at free agents once again. Only $8 million in calf room right now. And that sucks for us. 92 points, Chicago. Are you kidding me? 92 points? How are we going to upgrade the offensive line when they're doing this to me? 92 points. Dennis Kelly has 71 pass blocks. Sebastian Vollmer. Might have to settle for him if we can't get an upgrade. Although we have uh, Barksdale on that side. His year wasn't great. This offensive line situation is really concerning. Like, how much do you have to pay just to get there? Let's find out. Probably not that high. Could we even make it work, though? Like, if I wanted, like, a million left, uh, what, what would 10 million do? A 10 million dollar contract. Sixty-five? What are you guys doing? I can't compete. I can't compete with that. Oh, Marcus Cannon. 78. Oh, the impact blocking is awful. King Dunlap, come back. Man, and King Dunlap was looking like the best player available. Oh, no. This isn't good. Could try getting Ryan Clady. 84 pass, 80 impact. Compared to 78 pass, 81 impact, 81 run. Clady not that good of a run blocker, but if it's an improvement on the pass blocking end, I'm not going to give him any guaranteed money, but I will offer to Ryan Clady. Well, this uh, this is tough. There was one option for free agency, and the Chicago Bears decided to just give them all the money. They give them Jay Cutler's contract. I have to figure this out. Man, oh, we can also go for another young, uh, fast receiver. What about Paul Richardson? 94, slow development. Hard for him to get better, but I like those ratings. What if we give Paul Richardson a small offer? Didn't seem like he had much of a market. Is it worth it, though? We already have, like, five receivers I like. I just don't want to spend a bunch of money to do it. I'd prefer to get a rookie. Hey, Cordero. This makes you really appreciate the Dallas O-line. And, yeah, it was so tough for them to get an offensive line like that. It's rare. That is not normal. Oh, by the way, where did uh, where did Derek Carr end up going? He's going to Cleveland. So the, the Raiders have to restart. Oh, man. That's awesome for us. DeAndre Hopkins is going to the Jags to play with the Allens and Blake Bortles. Oh, my. Anthony Barr to the Bills. Well, this offseason is already interesting. We may have lost. We didn't lose our quarterback, but Oakland lost theirs. Carr going to Cleveland. Let's sim ahead a week. Kane auditioning to be new 
Seahawks GM with this old line construction. <laughs> I love that. That is quite accurate. Contract rejected by Rashid Hegman. Are you kidding me? We did get Tavon Wilson here. And now well, we can do some more scouting. I got to make sure I didn't miss anybody on the line. Look at those pass blocks. Like, I'm pretty sure I scouted every draftable prospect. Might have to start scouting the undraftable prospects. Sixth round. What can you do? C plus, C plus, C? Watch list. We're scraping. Bottom of the barrel. Any of you guys play guard? 298 pounds, I doubt it. Oh, okay, we have some guards here I didn't scout. C plus. Hey. He was the first in strength. Doing whatever I can. Man. Any other speedy receivers? How about that? Just, there's not a good opportunity to address our needs. It's really disappointing. Kent Basket here. Route Runner. 4-6. Uh, I'm looking for a specific type of receiver because we already have, like, some good depth, but not depth that can necessarily duplicate what Travis Benjamin does for us. Boggs isn't fast. 4-5-4. Four, Carol Thurman, 452. I'll, I'll, I'll scout the first rating. That's not bad. Carol Thurman. Four four. Ah, uh, started out pretty good. Any good athletic tight ends? We missed out last year. Not much of a tight end class though. Can you block? Ooh, not sure. Let's see. What else can I scout here? It's time to just find some more high combine grades, I think, and roll the dice. Ooh, the fastest safety from Northern Iowa? Ah, can't find the last rating there. We will later. Does anyone have, like, too much offensive line? Is that a thing? Can someone, like... We have too many good linemen. Let me check the trade block here, because, like... I really want to know what you could get. Left tackle. You can get Corey Roberts, Robinson, LaRaven Clark. Oh, it's about as bad as I thought it would be. We have a little bit more cap room now. Or we're still actually at 14. That is not great. Why does Andrew Whitworth have to be so expensive? And he's gone anyway. He's gone. So that dream is over before it began. Alright. I might have to offer to Matt Sloss in here. Because desperation. You know, and I, I can't be picky with those ratings. Like, those are pretty good ratings. So I offered to Sloss in. How about nose? We don't have a nose tackle right now. Wow, some Derek Marks went down. Me Bane is sitting here. Like, the block shedding has to be better. If you're going to be a nose. For me. Paul Solii. That could work. I'm not giving you that offer. Clinton McDonald. Like, I think these players are still going to be here later. So I think I'm just going to uh, see what we can get in the draft. Maybe spend any more remaining points I get on a nose tackle prospect. But like I said in the scouting video, I didn't really find one. 
A lot of calls here trading for Legit or trading Legit away for picks. We have an offer, at least one, as we get Ryan Clady and Matt Slauson to accept deals. All right. What do you want to offer for Corey Legit? Let me save first. And then we're on to the draft here soon. We would lose a little bit of cap room, but if we get something good in return, it's worth considering. What are the offers or offer? A 277 in the future, 267, a 2, a 2, a 7. So we have the Bears, the Ravens, the 49ers, and the Cardinals that have interest. I don't like those future pick offers, though. Let's see what else we could do. Let's put Legit on here. How does defensive end look, by the way? Klug. And then Bosa Gums. The Bears were one of the teams most interested and for that, uh, Whitworth, Josh Sitton, Kyle Long, let me check out the Cardinals now, do they have anything, Jared Valdir, Mike Ayupati, like you just don't see offensive linemen typically get traded because there isn't much depth and no one wants to give up their starters. I'm at least looking. And the Ravens. Ronnie Stanley. Yeah. How about the Cowboys? You guys have too many offensive linemen. Do you want to give up one? Lael Collins. Travis Frederick. Zach Martin. Yeah, we might just stand pat then. Let our front seven continue to be a dominant strength. Try to address offensive line the best we can. Bet you could get Clemmings on the cheap. Oh, I bet I could. Alright, so how about nose tackles? Any big nose tackles that I missed? Here's one. Undrafted. Even uh some left ends could be could be big. Or right ends. DeAndre Gooch. Just knew the power moves. Might as well scout these defensive tackles. Uh, not in the second round. B minus hit power. Earl Pfeiffer. How about Ty Bright, who had the second best bench? B minus, B minus, C. That's still going to be on my watch list. All right, I have 21 points left, everybody. So if you want to take like a, a first look, just uncover the first rating for somebody in like the third round or something to roll the dice on. Well, I feel like I should also scout this center. Ah, Bryce Shelton.